Pearl tutorial part 8 looping arrays with the for each loop now the for each loop can operate on each element in an array separately so let's create an array of colors Okay, so we will put in a for each loop and we'll operate on each element, each color in this array with our for each loop. Now for each is a special word in Perl and in, in this program a reserved word will come up in blue so that it's easy to read. Now what we can do is for each we can call each variable in this array as a color obviously so let's call each variable color now for each color of our array I'll now put in a curly bracket and an closing curly bracket. Okay, so for each color in our array, between the curly brackets, we can do something with each color of the array. So first of all, we'll print each color out. So we, since our variable, we've named it color, we'll print each variable out, and I'll put the new line character in there. So each color will come out on a new line. Let's run that. Red, orange, blue, green, purple on its own line. Perhaps we can just type in the word color before our variable color and that in the list that comes up color red, color orange, etc. So each variable in an array we can operate on it and do pretty much whatever we like. If we would like to number our colors we can create just before the, the for each loop starts let's create a variable called count and let's make that equal to one because we're going to count from one and we're going to list each color is going to num have a number beside it so obviously the first color is number one so count equals one is going to be our first now each time the loop goes round and iterates over each item in our array when it gets to the end of the loop we're going to add one to our counter here so let's we type in count and to make our counter um, increase by one each round we type in plus plus so now when the loop goes round each iteration the count will increase by one. So now if we put in our count variable here and print this out we've got ourselves a list of colors one to five. Next I'd like to create an array of numbers and we'll create a for each loop so I've created an array of numbers 1 to 10 so let's create a for each loop for each we'll call each of our numbers a number how's that 
for each number of our array called numbers we're going to do something inside the curly brackets okay so well first of all let's let's print out each number on its own line There we go, in de toi quatre cinq six sept huit neuf dix. Let's do something with each of those numbers as the uh, loop iterates around and around. Let's let's add ten onto each of those numbers. So each number equals itself number plus. 10. So each time the loop goes round, starting from 1. So 1 equals 1 plus 10, which is 11. So we'll print out 11. The next loop, the number is 2, right? 2 equals 2 plus 10. That's 12. So it'll print out 12. So let's roll that. Okay, so each number in our array of numbers 1 to 10 has had 10 added onto it as it goes around the loop. Let's 